Hey guys, it's Viv. I'm eating my lunch, but um, I'm gonna vlog anyway. <laughs> Here's what I've been up to. So I just got back from school. Um, on Wednesdays I work first lesson, so I have to go in for 7.55, which is a ridiculous time to start school. For like another hour and a half I was with my colleague in the music area. He's gonna teach me how to play the flute. So um, I learned some flute things. And also I had to go on the drums. But yeah, he's gonna teach me how to play the flute, so that's really exciting. At the weekend I had the concert thing, and it went pretty well. Um, hopefully I'll get the um, video for that, because I forgot to take my video camera. Um, but the guitarist of the band that we played with, he um, had his camera. So um, hopefully he'll send me the video of that at some point. I saw a picture of someone today and I was tempted to cut my full fringe back in. But um, my sister says no, <laughs> so, <laughs> as she usually does. Um, so that's probably not going to happen. I haven't really done much else besides that since I last vlogged. So there you go. Yeah, so I'm just really slowly eating the sandwich in, in, while I'm vlogging. So because not much has happened, I asked my sister what I should vlog about. Because I have to do it now, because I just got back, but um, I have to go out again in like an hour or something. So um, I have to quickly vlog now, because by the time I get home it'll be like evening and I won't be bothered to do anything and then I'll probably be really lazy. And then it'll get dark and I'll be like, oh, well I've run out of time. <laughs> Because that is just how my life goes. I asked my sister what I should vlog about and she answered back and she said, she said, um, favourite TV shows. So, I think I might be getting ill, which is lame, but um, hopefully it's just um, not gonna happen. Um, I've never really been the sort of person to be glued to the television. I mean, when I was little, I used to watch kids' programmes and when I was a teenager, I, I grew up on Cartoon Network, so I, um, watched stuff like um, Shaolin Showdown, <laughs> Robot Boy, and um, the Powerpuff Girls, and also Totally Spies, but that was on, um, what was it called? Toonami? So that was kind of the last time I was ever really that into TV. But these days, I mean, what am I talking about? Doctor Who has always been a big one. I really like Doctor Who. I'm not really a huge fan of classic Who, but then again I've not really watched that much of it. I've seen the movie with Grace in it. I've not really seen that much classic Who, not really that into it. Like I'm a bit of a baby when it comes to like TV and film, like all the old stuff just doesn't really appeal to me because it's not as, I guess it's not as high tech and developed even though it is, I don't know, more nostalgic. Is that what people are into? I don't know. And then with Doctor Who comes all the like spin-off stuff, so I really liked Sarah Jane Adventures regardless. I mean it was for kids but it's probably like my least favourite of the spin-offs, but I still really liked it. I also really like Torchwood. I really, really, really love Torchwood. I started watching it when the first season first came out because I thought, oh, a Doctor Who spin-off, I'll watch this. And it was on really late and I was like 12 or 13, maybe even 14 or something like that. And I watched it just before I went to bed. Um, and the first season was super gory, like, okay, not that gory, but for a 14 year old, it was pretty gory. Really like not what I should have been watching, considering I'm a huge chicken as well. So it was like kind of scary, but it was like the first grown up TV show I'd ever really gotten into by myself, like without having my mum there watching it with me. The season with the four, five, six, the one where there was like an episode every single day for the whole week, apart from Saturday and Sunday. I didn't even finish that because I thought it was absolute rubbish. And also I was doing something at the time. Um, so I couldn't watch two of the episodes in the evening. I'm, it must have been like a school concert or something and I'd been rehearsing every day after school or something. I didn't watch the Wednesday, Thursday or Friday episode because I was just like, this is really boring. It's the one with the children and then like, they all just randomly start, they all just randomly stand still in the middle of the day or whatever it was. I did really like the concept of the most recent season. When I say most recent, because like, it hasn't been on for years, but the, the last season that ever aired um, with the... Um, the miracle day when people just stop dying. But the end, and the thing that happens at the end when they reveal the thing, and I was like, what is that? And it sucked, I didn't like it at all. My all time favorite TV series is Black Mirror. Um, I talked about this in one of my other vlogs too. I didn't give much away, but basically, um, I always ref like recommend this TV series to people, and people are like, what's it about? And I'm like, well, can't really tell you, because all the episodes are different, none of the episodes have um, the same 
storyline or whatever. I guess you could maybe say some of them happen in, in the same universe. I'd have to think about that though. I don't know. Basically, it's written by Charlie Brooker, who is a hilarious comedian and um, also like a, just a general cynicist and, and what have you. All the episodes are set in maybe um, the not too far away future, the not too distant future. For example, one of the episodes deals with this little implant that you have behind your ear and you can, you have this remote for it and you can replay your memories as if they were captured on film. And this guy just gets obsessed with like reliving his memories and stuff and it's pretty, yeah. All the episodes are amazingly depressing, um, but very, very good. So I also really love Sherlock. And um, when it first came out, I was kind of like not into TV at all and I didn't really watch anything. Um, so I wasn't interested, I was like blah blah blah. Second year we had a module on literature and popular culture and we had to read um, the original Sherlock um, stories. We had to read A Sign of Four and the first episode, the one that the first episode is based on. Study in Scarlet. And we had to read the original like short story and then we had to watch the TV series and like find differences and blah blah blah. The TV episode I think is called The Sign of Three. That's season three episode two. So I watched the very first episode of the whole thing and then I watched like almost the end. <laughs> Um, and I didn't actually understand that until I, and, and I was like, John and Mary got married very quickly because I thought they were one after the other. And I actually went back and watched the whole um, three seasons, except for the finale, in like two days. Um, I really, really liked Sherlock. And, um, but then my philosophy was that I wouldn't watch season three, like the finale of season three, because then there would be no more Sherlock to watch. <laughs> so I put it off. Um, until it was going to be closer to Christmas time or New Year's when, when the Abominable Bride Bubbler came out. Just to complete the whole package, I also really love Supernatural. The only thing is, um, Dean is getting a bit angsty and it's getting on my nerves, like three years ago. <laughs> so I'm not really as hyped about it as I used to be, but I really still like it. And I don't know why, because it's kind of just like a really stupid American TV show for teenage girls who like to crush on hench guys <laughs> and that's not really my thing um but i think the storyline is really interesting and i absolutely love crowley because he's like the british king of hell also in kind of uh, not really into anime um but well i used to be but now not so much anymore the best anime i have ever seen is steins gate about time travel and it's just a huge like mind game it's so good and um i would definitely recommend it to anyone, even if you don't even like anime. It's hilariously cheesy and very stereotypical anime um, because the uh, main character, the, the mad scientist, is just crazy. Like, he's actually nuts. He's actually a little bit delusional. And um, they don't explain that to you, so you kind of think, what? Also, another one that I really love is um, Full Metal Alchemist. Um, not Brotherhood, just the Full Metal. I don't know if that has like a little tag on the end of the... The one that doesn't follow the, the uh, manga. I like that it's messed up. There's like one episode, because it's all about um, um, alchemy, which is like you... Um, they're kind of like superpowers, but it, um, it's more logical than just having magic powers. So basically you can create... It's kind of like... Um, Oh no, which one's Eric and what's his brother's name? There's two brothers, when they were younger their mum died and they tried to bring her back but obviously in order to create life you have to take life from somewhere and this whole thing went happened and like one of the brothers lost his arm and his leg and then the other one like completely lost his whole body and he's just like a soul bound to this huge metal suit of armour um, and they're basically on the quest to find a way to get their bodies back and like his arm and his leg back. And my camera's on one little bar of battery, so I think I'm gonna stop there. I don't know how long I've spoken for, but we'll see when we edit the video. Um, thanks for joining me on my lunch. I still haven't finished my stupid sandwich, but German bread is delicious, so I'm actually kind of happy because it means I get to enjoy it for longer. Um, thanks for watching. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, that's the end. Bye.